It's a devil of a case. The city's having such a hard time figuring out who killed Jasper, the Tasmanian devil at the zoo, that the case has pretty much gone cold. But News 13 has learned the city is holding back a key piece of evidence from the public, evidence that could help catch the killer. News 13's Alec Goldsmith is live at the zoo with that story. Alex? Dean, Jessica, this is a case that wasn't caught on camera. There were no witnesses. Forensic evidence is hard to come by. That means if there's no killer tip uh, sent into the city or that killer doesn't start blabbing around town, Jasper's death could remain a murder mystery. Four weeks ago today was the last time anyone saw Jasper the Tasmanian Devil alive. The next morning, a zookeeper found him dead in his exhibit, his skull cracked by a chunk of asphalt. It just, it gives a bad reputation for Albuquerque. I thought how sad that somebody from our community could do that. The mayor made catching the killer a top priority and the reward climbed above 10 grand. But today, still no answers and leads are drying up. It's very disappointing that we wouldn't have a resolution at this point. We just don't want to see this case go cold. Are you worried that it is going cold right now? I think because of the time that's lapsed, it certainly is a concern. But there was one big lead. The original police report mentions two boys followed by a man caught on surveillance video walking away from the exhibit before closing time the day before Jasper was found dead. So why not release the tape and get the public's help tracking them down to see if they know anything? A source with knowledge of the investigation says APD and City Legal determined there's simply not enough evidence tying any of the three to the crime to put their pictures on TV. People we spoke to at the zoo had mixed opinions on whether Jasper's killer will ever be caught. Eventually someone will talk. Eventually. So you're confident this won't go cold? Absolutely not. Not in Albuquerque. <laughs> Why do you say not in Albuquerque? We have Albuquerque's finest on the case. I don't know that they will, obviously. It's going to be tough, but uh, whether they do or not is not important, but at least the message is out there that we're watching and we love our animals and we're going to protect our animals. Now, the city also hired a private investigator to look into zoo workers and come up with ideas for better security. Now, as you just heard, there are no suspects, so that final report from that investigator may just focus on keeping this from happening ever again. Back to you. All right, Alex, thank you. Now, Jasper's death is not the first time that someone has killed a zoo animal. This is a horrible story. Two years ago, a drunken man broke into the Boise Zoo to steal a potus monkey. The two-and-a-half-foot-tall monkey wanted no part of it and bit the man, so he beat that monkey to death. That drunken escapade earned him seven years in prison.